Hi, I'm Kristen Oviedo, and this is the formula for finding the area of a regular polygon when the perimeter and apothem are given. So with any polygon, we're going to use simple geometry to find its area, and you're basically just going to break it up into either squares or triangles and calculate all of those areas individually and add them all up. But for a regular polygon, it becomes even more simple than that because a regular polygon has equal sides and equal angles. And so often you only have to calculate one triangle and then just multiply it by the number of sides. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So let's start by defining the apothem. It's not a word that you hear a lot every day, even in geometry, but it's basically just going to be a line drawn from the center of your polygon to the middle of one of the sides, doesn't matter which one, because they're all the same. And for that reason, because of the symmetry, this line and this line will always be perpendicular. So the perimeter is pretty self-explanatory. It's just the distance around an N. We're going to call the number, number of sides. And that's given just by the fact that, you know, if it's a hexagon, it's going to be six sides and N will equal six. So this line will enable us to turn one of the sides into a big old triangle. So most of you have learned that the area of a triangle is any triangle at all, by the way, not just a right triangle, is one half the base times the height. So luckily, because we're given the apothem, we don't have to use trigonometry at all to figure it out. We're already given it. So the area for just this one triangle is going to be 1 half the base. Now wait, we need to figure out the base. It's not going to be hard, but we're basically going to take the whole perimeter and divide it by the number of sides since, again, they're all equal. So one of the sides or the base of the triangle is P over N. And the height is just the apothem. Again, we're given that. Perfect. So we're going to kind of just combine all of that. So the area of, sorry, the area of one triangle is P times A over 2N. But remember, that's just one triangle. We actually have six triangles we're working with here, or N triangles, one per side. So we're basically going to multiply this result by n, n triangles, these cancel. So the area of the entire polygon is going to be, sorry, p a over 2. So that was pretty simple because our apothem was given. Again, you can do this without the apothem given, but you just need to use a little bit of trigonometry and angle measurements to figure it out. But notice also it doesn't depend on n. So this will work for any regular polygon, no matter what n is or no matter what the number of sides is. So I'm Kristen Oviedo, and this is the formula for finding the area of a regular polygon when the perimeter and apothem are given.